want to go to the roof. Fuck! Let him come this way, see if he can not destroy most of the tower. Still gonna destroy all kinds of stuff. Guys, yeah, stop. Where'd he go? Actually, I think I have an idea. I don't want to fight him, so... We're just going to, uh... Run off this way, let him despawn, and we'll come back and collect our goodies. Because... My baggage are full anyways. <laughs> We don't have any room for his goodies. I'm gonna run over here, run to the house, drop off all 43 levels of our experience, and then head back. Hi. Probably also sleep. Slide on into that bed. Boom! 49 levels in there. If I have a near empty bag. This one's almost empty. Good god, 23 emeralds. Soul Reaper. I'm curious. Diamond boots with protection too. What are we wearing? Our cloud boots. Which are almost broken. I have to make some new ones here soon. Great. So he should be gone. Should. Let's go over and see if he's despawned or not. He should have, because the rest of the chunk de unloaded. And we'll go see if he's got anything left on that top floor. Probably not. So many stairs. I have an express route. Six. Seven. Hi! He's still here. Why did he stop, though? You stop destroying everything. I like the tower. At least I think I'm pulling him away from the stairs so I can still get up. Although he's not doing anything to me right here. Ow. 241 health. Oh, are we gonna kill him? Yeah, that much health. Oh, he broke our boots. He broke our boots. Let me, uh, do this really quick. Ow. Thanks for hitting me through everything. Um, ow, ow, ow. Just stop. <laughs> ow. Um, what kind of goodies do we have in here? Because I know we have some potions in here. Potion of healing, fire resistance, and weakness. That might be useful right now. Oh yeah, for three minutes. What else we got? Potion of healing, instant health. Yeah, that'll be useful. Is this thing about to break? It is. Where have you dug yourself into? Ow. We 
We're killing him. We killed a guardian. Uh huh. I can't believe we killed a guardian. Wow. That was epic. So much for that tower. Well, we lost our boots. So, we're going to need to make some need to make some new boots before we go off and do much of it anything because now I can't even get back in there <laughs> see if anything survived on that top floor that's what I hate about those guys is like the Im immediately when they start spawn learn learn to cut nope nothing survived up there As, as soon as they spawn in, they start destroying everything involved with the tower. And one of the first things they destroy is a freaking, uh, whatchamacallit, that freaking chest up there. That is going to be so annoying having all that stuff floating around, but oh well. We killed a battle tower guardian. I think that is worth, we got five diamonds out of it. Amazing. Wow, we got so much stuff floating in front of us. A paper? Those can go away. Hehe, <laughs> nice trick. And... Go ahead. Toss some stuff into here. Wow. Oh, I need to put that there. I don't need these freaking eggs. I don't need that orchid either. No, I need that. Oh, uh, the potion of healing I wound up not using. Some rotten flesh. A couple of, a couple of bows. Our bow. Which I will repair. There we go. Well, we're halfway to... And killing that guy didn't even get us a full level or anything. Is there anything left in this crater that he made? <laughs> or did he destroy that too? Got some blocks. Still getting blocks. Man, all he gave me was those five diamond... Might be worth leaving leaving him at the bottom of the tower and just going up and grabbing whatever's on the top floor. <gasps> Hexical essence. That thing's hard to find. I don't know what it's good for, but we're gonna find out. Ouch. Fall damage. Ooh. Gotta be careful now. So I'm still debating whether I want to move into uh what was that? Nia Ecclesia. And uh, just move into there and have that be our base. I don't want to build any fancy base in this one. Then again, I could just have like some hiding spot in the world where it's just a wall, a door in the wall, and inside is. <sighs> I think that's what we're gonna do. I know what we're gonna do for our base, but I need to, I need to work on some stuff. Um, ooh, twenty-three emeralds. Oh my gosh, we got emeralds for days. We got 49.3 levels. So we've got some stuff. Yay! That means... <laughs> I love that sound effect right there. Ah, we got a stone stair. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear this out. 
So what I want to do for our base is we're going to build a, uh, a what is it, a dimensional door. And we're just going to put it, we're just going to take like, a, go out and explore somewhere and find like, I don't know, a good spot. Maybe right next to this lava or right by this lava or even near one of the villages that it's just going to be a door and a wall or a door on the side of a cliff face or a hill not anything not any super special or any fancy spots or anything it's just going to be a door but inside the door we're going to build a mansion we've got lawn and we've got materials and I think you can actually make lawn uh, can you? That's not what I want. We have it in here, in one of these bags. Uh, I think it's in... This one. Lawn. Can you make lawn? You can make lawn with seeds and dirt. Oh my gosh, I need a farm. Because I think what I want to do is, our goal this season is we're going to build this big mansion inside one of those dimensional places. Because you can dig those out as big as you want them. I think they're the only limit that they have is how far you feel like digging. <laughs> That's the only limit I know of on them. So it's going to be entirely up to us how we want to do it. Which means, as annoying as it is, that whole space up there is going to be destroyed, pulled apart, and put into a bag so we can move it into the dimensional place. That means I gotta find us a spot. That means, ooh, ooh, put it by the volcano, put it like up here. Because I liked the terrain in this area. Besides, there's a village there. There's that there. There's a volcano here which we want to explore. There's tons of towers and stuff over here. Which, that reminds me. It's one of those. Clear. That one's cleared. And that one is cleared. Awesome. So we're clearing stuff on our map. That's cleared. That's cleared. That's... I was going to say, there's not something underneath it. That's cleared. <gasps> oh, my oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, valuables, valuables. Do you have any more? I need... Can't use that one. I can use those though. Uh, feathers are in junk. Feathers are in this one too. No, the other one. Uh, orange backpack. Where are you? Orange backpack. Orange backpack. Feathers. What am I doing? I need this. Others. Ingots. Two. Where's that valuables bag? Valuables. Blocks of gold. That's what I wanted. I can do that easy anytime. Now, feathers, ingots, one, two, two, one, two, boom, new cloud boots, these guys can come off, those can go on, awesome, we got new cloud boots, and we got all kinds of junk and stuff, but I want to go check out that uh, in daytime. Oh, after this, we're going to cut for a little bit so I can try and get or 
inventory stuff organized and see if I can decide on a good spot on where to build our dimensional door before we go resource collecting. Because I think what I want to do is I want to find out what kind of wood and stuff is in this mod pack that will give us an interesting looking house, what kinds of materials we have, because I think for a majority of it, it's all base. Or it's all base Minecraft stuff. Okay, so should be right on the other side of these trees. Yes. Oh my god, I am so happy right now. Did it crash on Stonehenge? It crashed on Stonehenge. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, that is so great. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to cut it for a little while so I can get things organized. I'm going to probably dig out some of this stuff because this is a uh, meteorite. It is going to give us materials for us to be able to actually repair our armor. And I don't know if it works on Krekneroid. I don't know where to get Krekneroid. But I'm going to work on collecting some of this stuff and collecting chicken. You just cook it yourself. And um, organizing stuff, and oh my gosh, so much of this is still still hot. I gotta stay away from most of it. So we will be back in just a little bit. Okay, guys. So I've picked our location. I debated that little island. I keep forgetting this one doesn't have any zoom. I debated that little island. But I have finally settled on a location. We are right here. Just, just offshore from where the volcano is. I think if we look over. Yeah, it's you it loads like the very edge of it, and you can kinda see it right there. But we have it. We I made our dimensional door, just a couple iron doors and a ender pearl. A uh, quicksand, because I got stuck in one. But, the location is going to be... Ooh, there's ruins right there. Those show up on the map? They do kind of show up on the map. Hadn't noticed that. Whoa. Zoomed way, way out. Hmm. I forgot there's also a village right here in the middle of the forest. Good to know. But, me being the person I am, and my, uh, love of hiding things in plain sight and that's the reason I love I love prop hunt and it's gonna make me fix it ah I'm gonna do this shoot I can't use a can't use one of those so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take one of these it's gonna go like that I'm going to take this one, and our door is going to go right there. So our door will hide in plain sight, inside a tree, <laughs> kind of. Oh, do we have this stuff on us with, a, with us right now? No, we don't. I was going to use some shears and like grab a couple of leaf blocks off of these trees and uh, attach them, but yeah, I don't know why it did this. I'm going to put this one right there. I don't know why the tree grew like this. It like actually grew down. This whole thing came all the way down to the ground. I've never seen one grow like that. Well, then again, I hadn't noticed that it was this far down. So, there we go. We have our dimensional door. Let's go uh, step through it. And we'll see where it takes us. Wonderful looking image. <laughs> okay, so we have some dirt. First thing we gotta do. Boom, boom, boom. There's our door. That was the wrong button. And you can't see anything else. 
because this is utter emptiness. So the good thing is we can freeform however, however we want to do anything. I can actually do that to mark out the edges of the map. Which I might do. So right now, these are the edges of the world. I'm going to go through and pick up most of these. Because I don't want all these torches in here. And I'll probably do something more... Uh, environmentally friendly. You can see this is still a very large space. But if I want to, I can dig out. So like I can actually get behind our door and make our door float in empty space. I don't think I can take the floor out from under it, but I'm not going to do that. So this gives us the opportunity to freeform and free build whatever we want. This is better than a flat world. Because a flat world, you're stuck with whatever you pick as your base. This one, I can put whatever I want, wherever I want. So I, won't, I can say, oh, I want a dirt block here. There we go. Got a dirt block there. I want a quicksand block here. Boom, quicksand block. It literally gives you as blank a slate as you can possibly have. I need to. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Let's put those off for now. So that lets me actually pick what I want where I want. And it's going to give us the opportunity to build ourselves a nice big mansion, a Luigi's Mansion-esque kind of thing. So I got to go look up, see what kind of designs I'm going to like, what kind of things we want to do, what kind of materials there are in this mod pack. Because I've been kind of looking through... Ooh, book and quill. I also made a quiver, by the way. I got to look through, see what kind of materials we want to build with, see what kind of things we need, and decide what kind of rooms we want. Ooh, an altar of blood. I got to figure out how to make one of these, because I've never played with this. Netherrack, Ender Pearls, and a Book of Carnage. With a blood keeper. How do I get a blood keeper? Whatever. Ah, that'll be interesting. There are so many things that we haven't played that. A clay jar. Diamond locks. Um, meteor shield. We won't have to worry about any of that stuff in here. Protected land tester. Okay. There's plenty of different woods we can pick from. It's like... I do kind of like that silver bell plank. And the ghost wood planks. Those look kind of cool. But that ghost wood is freaking hard to find. And I know that. So, I'm going to go kind of look through resources, look through materials, and I'm going to figure out what I want to build with. And then we're going to go on a bit of an adventure to try to collect everything we need. Because I'm going to build the framework of our house, of our mansion, before we really get started. So, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to do. I need to f collect a lot of dirt, which means I'm probably going to strip mine a whole chunk off the map somewhere. <laughs> probably come over here and like strip mine that chunk off. I need to collect a bunch of lava. I need to collect all the stuff back at our old base, so I need to collect that guy. I need to collect all my stuff that I have in the houses and bring it over and put it in some chests or something. I need to collect and move a lot of stuff. So this this might be uh this series might be put on hold for maybe a week or so or something like that. I don't know. Might be put on hold for a little while so I can work on figuring out what I want to do with this place. 
there will be another one, another series coming in that I've already done a couple of recordings for that I got my whole system back up and running. The only thing I'm still missing is my webcam. I still haven't gotten that working right yet. So as soon as I get that one working right, it'll be back up and running and we will be back to our full schedules of probably doing seven days a week again. Maybe. I haven't decided. But I need to... I need to really dig in and do some design work. I have not done a whole lot of design work in Minecraft. So I'm probably going to go build, do like a, uh, a creative world. Go look at like the Kami Palace. Go look at like this place. What was it? Nia Ecclesia. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Nia Ecclesia. Look at some of like the vanilla structures, stuff like this, uh, things like that. I know there's another one of these. Um, look at things like this. And just go around and look at stuff. Oh man, another one of these things? Jeez. This world is just like loading in random chunks on the map. Ah, it gets annoying sometimes. But. What is that? I don't know. I need to focus. But I'm going to work on that stuff. In the meantime, there's going to be another series coming up. It's a that's going to be coming out. It's going to be a survival series called Unturned. And I've been having a lot of fun with that game. And it is so entertaining to play. It is so amazing what they've done with some of the stuff in it. And the only problem I have with it is it's a little unbalanced. But if you want to hear more about it, I'm going to be posting the videos in this guy in this series place for a little bit. And if it does well, it'll probably end up with the with a time slot of its own and this series will come back to its spot. Hopefully once I've figured out what I want to do, what I want to how I want to design this and stuff like that. So, let me get on with that stuff and hopefully I will see you guys shortly but I don't know it may be a while so keep an eye out and hopefully this is not the end of Hexit yet again last time I did not want to end it that early but it kind of forced itself this time I'm taking a pause to think about some design work because I have an image in my mind but I got to really work it out and figure out how I want to do things so let me go ahead and work on that and I'll see you guys short oh god so many things I need to get out of here I'm out oh 